Hey, it's Powerhouse Pam Waters with the Maryland Tipping Study Buddy Group. And today we're going over title commitments. Right, Tanika? Because today yes. we have a clarification on title commitments. So, Tanika, tell me from your brain, what do you recall about title commitments? Okay, I'm trying to record too. Okay, title commitment is a legal contract between. Was that from your brain or from your book? Um, it's both, but <laughs> I just I kind of remember. I'll say from a lender, and no, it's it's from the book. I gotta read from the book. With this, I'm gonna have to read from the book because okay. I don't I don't I'm not I'm not real confident with this section. Okay, you was good. You did well. But go ahead. We go on okay. To so I don't, I don't know that part though. Um, a legal contract between a title insurer, sure, and lender or purchaser. So one is just a contract, right? Yes. That's that's going to be one of your trigger words. It's a contract. Okay. Um. And so, what else about it? Um. It has um schedule A. Um. Which is the who, what, when, where, how much? Who, what, when, how much? Mm -hmm. You said that was what, what section? Schedule A. So there's how many sections does title commitment have? Um, from my notes last time, I have four. Don't say it. It that well, last time, huh? Title commitment does not have four sections. I have A, B, one, B, two, and a C. You said C, uh -uh. actual I policy? Said title commitment. <laughs> oh, okay. So title I'm gonna say title commitment has how many sections, Nicole? Nicole, how many sections does three? Three. Three. Schedule A. Nika, you hit a, you hit the right number. Yes. One, two. We're gonna count like the count on Sesame Street. Remember you used to say one. <laughs> Go ahead, <laughs> Where that came from? One, two, three, right? Yes. Oh, who used to do that? Wasn't that the count from Sesame Street? Sesame Street. Or the or the little owl that it, um the count? <laughs> no, yeah, the count. <laughs> but it also was a little was it the owl or something that he wanted to get to the middle, middle of the two spot. Yeah, that was the owl. That was the owl. See, go ahead and say it for me, Cortez, because all them youngins try to act like they don't know what I'm talking about. What was it, Cortez? <laughs> Cortez don't want to be silly. Come on, Cortez, let it go. Let it flow. What was it? What was it? One. <laughs> he used to ask you how to get into the it's middle the of a tootsie pop. Yeah. <laughs> two, two. One, two, two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that just made me laugh. And he was burning on three. So remember that one, okay, Tanika? I was trying to get you something that make you that connect the number, okay? Something simple. Don't go away, Tanika. Where you going? The wrong. Oh, I hit the button. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's still your day. Don't be trying back out. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know how to get back. I don't know what I did. I hit something. Oh, okay, I'm Lord, still here. I can hear, though. I can hear. Go ahead. Go ahead. Tanika, get on my ass. Because you try to read, and I don't want you to read. Um. Okay, so there's three sections to title commitment. What's the other word for title commitment? Fine. Contract. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Binder. We go. We go on with Tanika right over real quick. Hold on. So schedule A, schedule B one, and B two. So once again, what is in schedule A? The who, what, when, where, how much, and what won't be in it? I'm um, Social Security. No. Social Security. So you'll have the borrower's name. You'll have how much the lender is giving out, like a um, hundred thousand dollars, or you'll have. Um, what type of state it is. So it could be a leasehold estate, life estate or whatever. Description of the land and all of that good stuff. So what would you find in B1? Um, B1 would be the requirements and exclusions. Exclusions. And so how, do they, oh, so how do they come up with the information to put in B1? Um, you can phone a friend. Who you phoning? I'm gonna phone. Well, let me try. I'm gonna try. I don't know. If okay. Right. So how do they? Do, the, so do the ahead. title searcher search, and then 
they they I guess they find if they find some with clouds on title, they give it to the who they give it to? Uh the title company or the lender? Yeah, they give it to the title <laughs> short okay. producer. Exactly. Because the title short producer is the one that hired them. Okay. And so once they get this information, it's something in the middle, but once they get this information, they create the title um, commitment slash binder. Good. So they put all this information in B1 and all the information collectively is called what? The issues with the title is called what collectively? Oh, clouds on title? Cloud on title. So give me some examples of cloud on title. Um, for, um, forgery, fraud, um, unknown heirs, Unpaid taxes, mechanic liens. Right. Okay, so why is it called requirements and exclusions? Or exclusions? Um because the requirements, um, I guess it's the requirement. It must it, it has Would to be met. You guess? Or you guess? No, I didn't say yes. I just did I say yes? I might have said I don't know. I don't think I said. Well, I didn't mean to say yes. Wait a minute. You said I guess. But go ahead. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Um, I guess the require. Oh, I did say it. I caught myself that time. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, reserve for requirements that must. Um, it must. The requirements must be satisfied. Right, oh, so you have to clear up all those clouds on title in order to be issued a policy. Okay. That's all you need to know. All right, so what's in B2? Um, B2 is exceptions. Uh-huh. Give me uh, an exception. Easement. An easement or right away. Uh, who else can name a, an exception that would fall under title commitment? Miss um, Carter? Um, Give me an exception. A deed restriction? You can read from the book. Go ahead, girl. All right, uh, LaShawn, give me another one. Rainy, did you read that from the book? It's okay. To Actually, no, I did remember that. Oh, I, I but that's all you, you, all you do is bust me out. I don't care, girl. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> all you had to do was say, no, nah, I know. No, this it's was all the right. I'm still, the I'm still that's learning. All. I'm the still next learning. Page, y'all. All right. <laughs> okay. Can you repeat that again? One uh -huh. of the exceptions is easements and right of ways. The second one that Rainey said was deed restriction. Deed restriction. All right, who can give me one more? Is it just a one, two, three? It's just the five of y'all pressing gone. All right, give me another power lines. What happened to Preston? I thought he was on the phone. I heard you. Um, you said power lines. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, it is on the exception. I always thought it would. It was on the uh, B1. So if y'all was listening to me saying mechanic lean <laughs> and leans was under B2, me B1, it's not. It's under B2. What? All right. So I don't see that one here, ma'am. I see open or subordinate liens or mortgages, mechanic liens, and survey issues. So title commitment schedule B2 exceptions. Some of the easements are, e I mean, sorry. Some of the exceptions are easements and right-of-ways, D restrictions, open or subordinate liens or mortgages, mechanic liens and survey issues. I got it. Under title commitment B1, which is like she said, requirements, um, it says execution and recording of documents, um, payoff and or release satisfaction of a mortgage or deed of trust, release of a deed of trust, release of satisfaction of lien, payment of taxes and or municipal charges, obtain documents related to corporate ownership. So those are the three sections of title commitment, Schedule A, Schedule B1, which is exceptions or requirements, and title commitment schedule B2, which is exceptions. So all those things that are exceptions, what what's the name of the, what's the word you can use to kind of 
um, change what the word of what the heck is the contract that you can modify the contract. But uh, hello, anybody? Endorsement. 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 So endorsements allow people to modify the um, B two the exceptions section. Put that on your daggone um, vocabulary list. I think it's on it though. So Tanika, did that clarify anything for you or do we need to go over it? We can go over it again if, if you still need clarity. No, that's that's good. Anybody else got issues with title commitment? Just raise your hand. Good job, Tanika. By the way, you knew more than you thought. Oh, thank you. You did. Rainy, you're up. Tell me about title commitment. I'm not going to lie. This is kind of fuzzy for me. Good. I remember That's a little have. bit of it. <laughs> so all I want you to do is stay at your own level and pace, but I need you to tell me what you know so we can fill in the blanks. So start from the beginning. What is a title commitment? What is another word for title commitment? Title binder. Just binder. Binder, okay. So title commitment slash binder. So what is a title commitment? In my understanding of it, it is the clear and free title that the researcher has done. Yeah, but what is a title commitment? It's a, who knows the word I'm looking for? It's a contract. contract. It's a contract. There you go, Sean. I should have just waited because Sean had the answer. It's a contract. <laughs> right, contract. Okay. So what's the four elements of a, um, that makes a valid contract? Um, I know this. I know this. Wait a minute. Acceptance? Wait a minute. Is it? What do you, what you got to have first before you Offer. It? Offer, yeah. Acceptance. Uh-huh. Signature. And making it legal and they have okay. to be competent there okay. you go so title commitment is, a, is the contract you get prior to an actual policy so mm -hmm. how many schedules are there in the title commitment three three so name the three title name the three schedules the schedule a the schedule b1 and the schedule b2 so what is um what would you find the schedule a um Schedule A is like a premium, um, like the loan a. amount, the policy yeah. number, or commitment number. Um, mm -hmm. The lender and the owner. Yeah. The, so to make it um, easy, effective date. The effective said date. It, the the easiest way to remember that is Tanika said it. Tanika, what did you tell her to say about Schedule oh, yeah, A? Yeah, the who, what, when, where, how, and how much. There you go. Boom. So what won't you find in Schedule A? Social Security. Social Security. All right. So next one is B1. Mm -hmm. What is that? What is B1 again? Um, that's the exception. Right? No. 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 A requirement no. and exclusion. Yeah. Or exclusion. Or exclusion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what would you find in Schedule B? One. Um, Sorry, B1. What would you find in B1? B1, I'm B1 is more fuzzy to me with, than the other two. I'm going to go out on a limb in my head. I know there's a satisfaction of lien uh -huh. in B1. Um, release or satisfaction of lien, right, right. Um, taxes, payment of taxes or other municipal charges. Yes, yeah, uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's all I can remember. It's a release um, of something attorney, else. The power of attorney in there too. I don't see it on this. Oh yeah, power of attorney. Yep, yep, yep. It says execution and recording of documents, and, it, and that was one example. Yeah. Okay, so all those things have to are going to go into B1. 
And they have to be what before you can be issued a policy? I didn't understand your question. They have to be. In order for you to get a policy, what has to happen to the B1 section? Doesn't it have to be like cleared? Like it has to be clear. You asking me or you telling me? No, I was I actually was like saying it. Okay. I was saying it. I was saying it. All I was right. thinking about satisfied in my head, which is the same okay. as cool, I guess. <laughs> All right. So section B1 has to, is requirements or exclusions and everything that falls in that section has to be cleared up in order for you to be issued a policy. All right, so the sec the third policy, I mean, sorry, the third schedule is what? The schedule B2. That uh -huh. I definitely know has a deed. Um, schedule B2 is, is what in parentheses? That's exceptions. That's exceptions. So it says schedule B2 is reserved for title exceptions, items that will not be covered by the title insurer. Who's the title insurer? What's another word for title insurer? Nicole, what's another word for title insurer? Nicole, what's another word for title insurer? The, um, the lender, I mean- What? Yeah. Wait a minute, the, um, you said title insurer, I wasn't saying it. Just say, okay, insure. What's another word for unsure? And Cortez is trying to help you cheat, but you're not looking. The underwriter. <laughs> underwriter. Cortez giving you all kind of clues, but you got to look at the camera. Thank you, Cortez. <laughs> Thank you, Cortez. <laughs> so if you see underwriter, if you see unsure, just know that they're the same person. All right, so it says Schedule B2 is reserved for the type for title exceptions slash items that will not be covered by the title insurer, which is the same as what, Ms. Quarter? The underwriter. Underwriter. Okay, so what would you find is what type of exceptions would you find in that section? We just went over that. The easement right of ways. Uh-huh. Heat restriction. Mm -hmm. Um Liens and mortgages. Are you Mechan reading it? Because you read no, it. I just wrote the notes the down for when we went written in this book. No. <laughs> Emma, I, I wrote it down based on how we just went over okay, with the cool beans. We'll keep and the, mecha in. the mechanic liens. Yeah. And I think I missed the last one because I stopped that mechanic. The last lien. one is survey issues. Okay. Um, so this says open and subordinate liens or mortgages. So remember, um, Schedule B would have the ones that are finished, released, or satisfied. No okay. difference. Okay. That was, uh, that was, that's a, Anyway, mechanic lien that's open, they ain't paid yet. And the last one is survey. So you just explained to me what the title commitment. How do you feel? How do I feel? Yeah. You feel but, like you, you knew more than you thought? Actually, yeah, I did. I know I still need to learn more, but I actually did um, realize I knew more than I thought I knew. Cool. Even by listening to Tanika. So thank you, Tanika, for bringing up this today. Who I want to hit next? I know Nicole. Nicole got it. LaShawn. Tell me about title commitment. You had two people go before you. <laughs> title commitment or a title or a binder, I mean, is a um, policy, no, a contract that is written before um, you purchase a home. Um, it has three elements to it, Schedule A, B1, B2. A has the who, what, where, when, and how. B1 and I'm has... Leaving. I'm not, you I got, promise. You got your beautiful picture up there. I don't know. <laughs> I promise, I'm not. Okay, um, two things. B1 has the clouds that need to be satisfied in order for you to move on. Um, and it's temporary, it doesn't stay. B2 has the... Uh, ex Delusions, ex no exceptions, has exceptions, and um, the exceptions would be open liens, easements, and surveys. Is that right? Nope, that's right. <laughs> Is that right? Did I miss that's something? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that right? Nope, that's right. <laughs> All right. So, did she miss anything, y'all? Because I was. I was half listening, but I was listening. 
Did she miss anything, Cortez? Since you're the only man, you holding down a fort for the testosterone today. Nope. <laughs> she didn't miss anything. Good. Who wants to go next? Cort it's only two of y'all left. Cortez, what's the title for me? Uh, binder or a contract that shows uh, commitments that need to be completely before it's run a policy. How many schedules? Three schedules. Schedule A, B1, and B2. What you going to find in B2? There are exceptions. Give me examples. Um, you got your... So like those basically are clouds on titles, uh, arrows on the title, or discrepancies on the title, uh, such as um, Give me fraud, one. fraud, forgery, um, mechanics lien, uh, any type of lien that's um, any type of lien that's on the the, uh, the title, uh, unpaid taxes. Payment of taxes and omissible charges. Hold on. Subordinate liens or mortgages. I don't know if that's in B1 or B2. Which one is it in? What's that? Unpaid mortgage. Unpaid liens. Unpaid. Yeah. Yeah, that's a discrepancy on the title. Okay. Cool bean. So what you going to find in B1? Um, your exceptions. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no requirements and exclusions. So oh, it's clouds okay. on titles. Did I did I say exceptions the first time? Oh, my bad. I said B two. You said exceptions. Oh, you said B two. Oh, all right. You know, so y'all gotta listen to the question because when y'all get to the test, when y'all get to pro metric, because I see I didn't go in order. Let I remember requirement, exclusions, and then exceptions is like the last one. So what? But you gotta listen to the question. I ain't say it in order this time. I said what was in B2. Yeah. And it's gonna do this, the test is gonna do you the same way. They're um, going, it's not gonna be as you memorize it. It's gonna be they may ask you the same question four times. I didn't ask your question. Four different way. You didn't. But you know, we're gonna we're gonna forgive you this time. So I want you to tell me what would you find in B2? Um Yeah, we got Cortez so, today. So Go it's, ahead, what, Cortez. it's pretty much what the no. B two is exceptions. You're right, but you answered the right. You I don't know how you answered the question right because you weren't listening. <laughs> you yeah. thought I was going in order, yep. but no. B two is exceptions. Oh, it's easements and right of ways. Uh -huh, so things that won't good. be covered on the title. Exactly, things that won't be covered on the title. <laughs> yeah. Cool. It's just easements or right aways. Easements, right aways, deed restrictions. You thought I said B1? Yeah. Oh, go ahead. I didn't. So it wasn't B, it wasn't B1, Cortez. <laughs> Clouds on title. All it's right. So, title. Um, what might be confusing is that some of the clouds on title is under B2, because she just read it. Like mechanic liens, Lisa has it under B2. Open or subordinate liens or mortgages is under B2. Got it? Got it. But the ones that's on um, B2, B1 is release of satisfaction of lien, payment of taxes, obtaining documents related to corporate ownership, those type of things, the release of the deed of trust, all of those are under um, B1. If they didn't record it right, all of that was great stuff. Got it? See, I ain't going to order because see, they stop. these three over here, they knew. So, I went in order for them. But I wanted to trick y'all today. These, this three on this side, Preston, Nicole, and you. So you just gotta listen to the question. And when you go in your test, you gotta read the question carefully. Just make sure you understand what they're asking you for. Thank you, Cortez. I love that. It's like I'm playing with you. Um, Preston, tell me about title commitment. That's what we stick sticking to today. I just want to make sure all y'all understand what title commitment is. Um, so title commitment is basically a contract um, issued to get your policy. 
for a contract executed to get your policy. Say that one more time. So the title commitment is a contract that is executed before you get your policy. So what's the four elements you need to have a valid contract? You need an offer, acceptance, consideration, and signature. All right, so what's the schedule B1? Um, B1 is your requirements or exclusions, um, clouds on title, things that have to be cleared up in order for a policy to be issued. Okay, so then once you issued your policy, how many schedule in a policy? It's just two, A and B, and it'll be B2. Well, it's more than two, but the two from the title commitment rule, which ones carry over? Oh, well, just the, uh, yeah, schedule A and B2. No, nah, well, it'll be called what huh? as a policy? Well, it'll be what? just B, right? Yeah, just B. It won't be B2 anymore. Great. Exactly. The Mundo. So what would you find in Schedule A, Preston? Um, so you would find uh, just the clouds on titles, things that need just need to be satisfied uh, before a uh, policy could be issued, like um, like the tax liens um, and things of that nature. Damn Anything that needs to be paid off. All right, so this is Schedule A. That's the overview. So we have all the information about the property um, and everything except the Social Security number. So if I bought a house for $200,000 and put down $50,000, how much is it going to be on that Schedule A? Um, I mean, wouldn't it have the total price of it on there? Are you asking me to tell me? So... <laughs> I, I would think it would have the actual total amount. I mean, I'm I'm not sure, but I would think it had the total amount on it. Total amount of like what? Like the purchase price. Oh, okay. Hold that price. thought. Hold that thought. Nicole? Nicole, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So, Nicole, we talking about Schedule A. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to buy a house for $150,000, but I put down $50,000. How much is it going to be how much of that is going to be in the schedule A? Fifty thousand? The remaining balance? What? Okay. Hundred thousand. I'm going. I'm. I'm not your friend today. Really? I'm distracted. So, because this is it one hundred thousand? It's one hundred thousand. Thank you, Lashawn. Let's hey, try, let's find out why. Can you so say it's a principal loan amount? amount. Right, because you only you only going to see a schedule A where the lender is covering. Oh, so the house you. is a hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and I put down fifty thousand. The lender is only going to be giving me a hundred thousand, so that's all you need. That's all they need to cover in the title policy. Because that, the that lender is only interested, only is going to cover the interest that they're putting in the house, right? Right. They're not going to ask you that on the test. I'm just asking y'all. <laughs> I know it's confusing because they said that. It ba it's basically an overview of the property and the transaction. So I just figured it would have a full purchase amount. But that makes sense that the lender is only covering their interest. So that would be the principle of the, I guess, the mortgage. Right. So the they're, not gonna, they're not going to include that $50,000 because you've already put that down. They're only, giving, they're only loaning you $100,000. Right. So that's how much you're going to okay. find in Schedule A. Thank you, LaShawn. That's the old, the old G crew. She said, I know my stuff, Pam. I know my stuff, Pam. Um, cool beans. So, good pressing. Did I go through all the schedules? So, Nicole, it's your turn. Okay. Tell me about schedule. Tell me about title commitment. Title commitment is a contract that um, is put in place to, issue, to be able to issue a policy. Okay, keep going. It consists of um, Schedule um, A. Schedule A consists of everything, all the demographics, all your personal information, with the exception of your social security number. Then you have Schedule um, B1, which is your requirements and your exclusions. And those will um, have your um, clouds on title, mechanic liens, forgery, any type of tax things. 
and then um, schedule B2. And those things are basically um, your exceptions. And those things will be like your easements. So what does exception, what does exception mean though? Exceptions basically means um, things that are um, included with the, um, the home, things that basically will be a part of the home. It's letting the, um, the buyer know that these are the things basically that I guess can't be cleared up. That won't be covered. Right. Right, it says Schedule B-2 is reserved for title exceptions, items that will not be covered by the title insurer. Good, I just wanted you to say, I was just trying to get you to say not, won't be covered. That's all I wanted you to say. Okay. For real. So give me a few examples of exceptions. Exceptions will be your easements, any type of issues with the D, like D restrictions, um, oh my goodness, survey issues, stuff like that. Right. Mechanic lien and subordination, I mean, subordinate liens or mortgages actually under exceptions. I know I've probably been saying it wrong. And I have no problem with correcting myself. So that's what you will find under B2. All right. So everybody went through this. Are y'all all good on title commitment today? Yes. Yeah. Anybody need to go through it one more time? All right. So um, let me see. So they do have like an example of if y'all haven't looked in the book. I think it's on page. It's on page 123 of some people's book. I think um, Nicole got a different version. But take a look at the different samples. It's on 121 in my book. 121. Okay. So take a look at the samples that she has for y'all. So it's not, um, so it's familiar to you when you start doing your loan assignment. Okay. Yeah. I mean, really, y'all? I know it's Friday and, and y'all trying to party because I know I got to go at 8 o'clock today, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend bought me some tickets to somewhere for my birthday, so I can't hang Damn. with you all night. I can't hang with you all night, Tanika. Okay. I can't do it. All right. Real so, quick, uh, real quick, real quick. What did you just say? You said, what did you say? Look at some of a sample. What's um, the sample? She has an example of title commitment form in the book. Oh, okay. I see it. Okay. So like a real saying, contract. I mean, like yeah. the contract. Okay. Okay. Right. So okay. I was saying, start looking at those type of things and getting your, your eyes familiar with those um, items that you'll find. Okay. In your loan signing. I can't remember what I said, but <laughs> signing something. I don't know what I said. Whatever whatever I said, do it. You hear me, Corte? Corte, you ain't looking up. You didn't see me with a knife. Anyway, Preston, LaShawn, I see the girls, the females, they don't pay me. Nicole don't pay me no thing. All right, gang. So that is all. Don't get off, y'all. That is all for title commitment for the day. This is Maryland Coins Facebook. We call Maryland Coins Civic Study Buddy Group. We got Nicole, Cortez, Preston, LaShawn, Rainey, and Tanika today. So y'all have a good evening. Everybody wave bye to the camera. And we see bye. you next time. Make sure that you bye. sign up for our Maryland Civic <laughs> Facebook group and our Maryland, Maryland Notary, whatever it's called. Just sign up for this <laughs> YouTube channel. Have a good evening. Give me a second. All right.